Thought your geek news wraps up in one tiny little parcel, unlike the gift bag I tried to give to my sister the other day with a copy of the Walking Dead DVD in it that wasn't sealed, so there was no surprise whatsoever. Let's do it, shall we? Ah, geek out! I'm John Ishwood, this is Darren Harper, let's get your movie news on. Alright then, Darren, so lots of movie news happening this week, lots of things going on in the world of films, lots of casting yeah. announcements, random titles being registered by movie companies to, <laughs> that throw everybody about for Spider-Man and all kind of stuff, uh, rumours about Civil War coming soon, but obviously that's the big comic book movie coming out in a bit. Yeah. Batman vs Superman, still at cinemas, was like, when it came to sales, it's gone a little bit again now. 68% down week on week. Still the biggest film around, and I went to see it again for the second time earlier on this week, just to see if I was going to be as annoyed with it the second time yeah. round. Now, I've got to admit, I wasn't as upset with it as I was the first time round. Okay. Yeah, I did find it very boring. It's just very dark. That's not the word. It's, it is boring. Um, it's dull. It just needs a bit of light in it. It needs a bit of comedy. It needs something just to zhuzh it up a bit. And no real, no like real spoiler here. Uh -huh. But at what point, because I can't remember... Did Superman find out who Batman was? Uh, it's like he knew all the time. He just, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got you, gotcha. I got you, lad, I, I got you. you. Uh, but you remember the nightmare sequence in it? It's, it's one that's been in the trailer, Which obviously, one? as well. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, the entire movie. Uh, the, uh, the bit where Batman's in uh, the... Uh, the dystopian sort of, future. Yeah, dystopian future with the yeah. Omega symbol on the floor. Par <clears throat> Excuse me, parademons flying around everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, at this point... Uh, people are thinking, well, this is genuinely a dream. But apparently, it's not. This is a potential actual future and could happen in one of the uh, future movies, the Justice League, part one, part two, whatever they're going to do with it. But according to some of the producers of the film, that is an actual choice of what could happen. Yeah, because uh, I think we're looking at uh, the next big bad is going to be Dark Side. Yeah, which is happening. That's that's, uh, that's, happen. that's happening. And that is, uh, I heard an interview with a couple of the producers, and yeah, that is... It's it's a direction they could go in. Mm. It scares me that they don't know what direction they are going to go in. The Justice League is starting to film on next it's week. No, it's starting filming now. Week, April eleventh, yeah. it starts filming. So that's I, me thinking we're further on in the month than we are. I'm surprised uh, that they still got questions about it. But you know, mm. I, the only thing I take out of it is that I love Ben Affleck. I thought he was great as Batman, and I'd like to see a standalone Ben Affleck Batman film. I still as long don't as they know. do that, I'm happy. I still don't know why Ben Affleck hasn't changed his profile uh, on uh, Twitter to just say Batman. Yeah, you would do that. I just I, I don't follow him. I would have done that ages ago. <laughs> Seriously. It's uh, Jay Olivia who's been talking about this. He's the storyboard artist for Batman vs Superman. Uh -huh. He's been talking on the podcast and said, well, yeah, it's going to happen. This could, this could be a real future. Keeping with superhero films and X-Men films, we've got a new one coming out, of course, Apocalypse, this summer. But there's a spin-off coming out called New Mutants. Now, I don't think it's going to be a la Deadpool as a spin-off, mm -hmm. uh, the most successful R-rated film of all time. Uh, but this one's going to be directed by Josh Boone. Um, now, the only thing I've got to say about that is Fault in Our Stars. That's what Josh Boone last directed. So now he's going to get an X-Men <laughs> So he's gone from a movie that's making everybody cry to directing superheroes. Should be perfect. Wow. Perfect. Um, so who knows? I mean, it did very well, The Fault in Our Stars, let's be fair. But uh, this is a brand new project for him. Uh, Simon Kimberg, who's the man at the heart of the X-Men movies, has been given a, a brief update about it. Uh, and he says, uh, Deadpool was so different from the mainline X-Men. New Mutants, it's maybe not as different as Deadpool, but it has its own unique original voice. That's the fun for us, working in the X-Men units, creating these sort of standalone movies that have a different vibe. And New Mutants has a more of a young adult vibe. It's Hunger Games mutant style. It's, it's teenage uh, dystopian future. Teenage Mutant Ninja Mutants? Something like that, yeah. Doesn't. But I, I like the X-Men universe, so I'm pretty happy that they're doing more. Why does every single movie with a teenage cast, like the Hunger Games and Allegiant or whatever... Dystopian future. It's got to be dystopian future. I don't know. Why, don't can't know. It, why can't it just be a nice future, but these things are happening? They just don't want to do that. It's angst. Teen angst. That's can, what you need. Can we imagine future movies which are going to be based on reality where Donald Trump is president? Well, that's, that's actually <laughs> reality. Uh, it's going to be quite scary. Uh, talking of superhero movies, this question I just want to throw out right now. 
do you think it's a bit of an oversaturation right now? No. What do you think? No, no. There can't not. be enough. Never or is enough. there? Or is there too much? Bring it on. At TV Yorkshire is where we're at on Twitter, tvyorkshire.co.uk. Subscribe to all the videos on that channel.